Hey, Bob. Hey, 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 the 2017 World Long Drive Champion, Justin James. He's been at the peak of the game for several years, and his longest drive is about 485 yards, so he can move it. He is one of the longest golf ball hitters in the history of golf. So we had a wonderful time. I pick his brain about how he does it. So you're going to want to check out this interview. Now, I just spent an awesome week at the PGA show in Orlando. I got to meet a lot of great people like Retief Goosen, another video coming out with him. I'm going to be posting a ton of material over the next week from the PGA show. Now, remember, if you like this content, please click a like, hit subscribe, leave a comment. All of that stuff helps us out around here. And don't forget, if you want to check out MSE TV, go to myswingevolution.com. You get the first month free, and the next MSE intensive is February 5th and 6th. It's next weekend. We still got a couple slots. Hit me up, Christo, at myswingevolution.com. It's a, it's a great story. Him and his father. That's right. I'm Christo. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wow. Wow. So it's a great, his father, he's the only father's son. Him and his father, the only father's son that ever won, won the World Long Drive. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. That's yeah. so impressive. Uh, his father, Jerry, and uh, yeah, and Justin is, uh, you know, goes back forth one and two, him and uh, Kyle, and Justin's yeah. the World Long Drive champ. And, you know, he let uh, he let uh, Kyle win the last one. <laughs> <laughs> but what you guys do is, is so incredible to me. I mean, it's like you guys, like it seems like 400's like a breeze. It's not even anything anymore. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, what's your longest drive? I hope I may keep out for it's a moment. Uh, I'll cover I think it's about 485. <laughs> 485. Wow. So, it's in the desert. So, Thank you. <laughs> so, so, I interviewed Gary Player, and he was famous for 20 years ago. He said, guys are going to be hitting at 400 yards. And when I interviewed him recently, he said, 500. It's going to be 500. Do you think that's coming? It might. Yeah, some freaks out there. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask your size and weight? Uh, six foot on my license, six one. Uh huh. Uh, 220, 215 to 225, depending on the time of year. You obviously are as lo the longest in the world, right up there. Do you do, what kind of training do you do? Is it a lot in the gym? Yeah, I mean, uh, my background's in baseball. My background's in strength and conditioning. Uh -huh. um, I do a lot of stuff with TPI as well. So, flexibility and mobility, obviously. Uh -huh. um, and then, you know, strength-wise, learning to use the ground better, moving better, more athletically. Wow. Like a, like a baseball player or like a wide receiver. Yeah. yeah. Most golfers don't really know how to use the ground. See, a lot of them didn't grow up playing other sports. Uh -huh. So everybody in my business did. Uh, for the most part. So, and then, um, you know, it's getting stronger light in vertical, lateral, horizontal patterns. Uh -huh. Kettlebell work, um, some body weight work, just learning to create tension in the right places. Right, not to get too complicated, but. Yeah, so yeah. Much. Well, it, the sport has really evolved in the last, you know, 20 years especially. So, your dad, where, what year did he win the World Long Drive? He won in uh, the senior division in 2005, 2006. Uh -huh. I think he took second in the open division in 2003. He's wow. finished second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth in the open. And Was he a baseball player too? No, <laughs> he was a professional wrestler. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and he played, <laughs> played pro football and won the Mitchell California. So. Wow. Do you think round. baseball players make the best transition to golf, and especially long drive? It's an interesting question. Um, I know hockey players tend to be good golfers, too. Yeah. 
if you look at the World Long Day Champions, we have hockey players, uh, Sedlowski, I'm assuming Zubek played hockey because he's Canadian. I'm pretty sure all Canadians. Yeah, that's a rule. <laughs> uh, he's a very good Olympic weightlifter. Uh, javelin, Carl Walter, two times. He's a NCAA javelin, I believe. So. Javelin. Uh, and then baseball. Those are really the big three. Mm -hmm. so. Does throwing speed have a. Do you feel like the club is a throw? Or? Uh, in a sense, yeah. So it's very similar sequencing, very similar ground force mechanics. So pelvis, upper body, arm, and then implements, yeah. ball or club. Um, and then using the ground is quite similar. So same type of sequence. That's why pitchers are able to create a lot of speed. Wow. So does pitchers uh, don't seem to be too bulky. Does muscle mass make a difference in long time? It can. Um, everybody's different. You know, so you have wiry guys like Sidlowski, who's uh, one of the longest ever. Uh, you have huge guys. I mean, Zubak. Zubak's short, but he's you know, very big. Like He's one of the strongest people I've ever met in uh -huh. Olympic weightlifting. So everybody creates power a little bit differently. Uh, you know, based on bone structure, genetics, etc. But you know, generally all golfers can benefit. The biggest bang for the buck, so is is getting stronger systematically. That's the majority of the population. Now, if you take a Division One college athlete, the way they're going to get longer is probably some sequence work, some power work, golf swing work. Uh -huh. Or you take your average person out here today, you get them stronger, and then they only swing the club faster. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's basically power curves and power slots, and um, you go after the lowest hanging fruit. So I don't know your background. Yeah. Someone like if I got you stronger up to a point, you gain a lot of speed, then it would be not diminishing return but kind of plateau we might transition to okay we'll focus more on power we might focus on an element of your swing so you just kind of attack these angles and try to keep gaining speed from different areas. i'm amazed watching how bryson has like 200 ball speed was a goal and then it just keeps on chipping away and keeps on going up. yeah this is, so it's similar to what we talked about you know paid very careful attention to his swing and what was going on there working with chris mm -hmm. uh, and then really attack strength initially and he's continued to adjust his training program and he's, he's hit plateaus and you know so the same type of thing that we just we just talked about wow. obviously and, and everybody has to go about it in a little bit different way because everybody's a little bit different mm -hmm. cool well thank you i really appreciate the time awesome do you believe that ben hogan said there's only eight fundamentals you have to have under control in order to shoot in the 70s well i'm going to show you all eight and it's going to change your golf game forever